It's the start of May, which here in the UK means it's Veterinary Nursing Awareness Month. This is a super important month for me, but also the veterinary profession as a whole. Veterinary Nursing Awareness Month, or VNAM, aims to raise the profile of the veterinary nurse, as well as raise awareness of veterinary nurses in animal care. It's the reason that I started my original Instagram page at Rawson back in 2019. Creating that account has given me a platform to speak to over 2,400 followers about veterinary nursing, which blows my mind. And it's a community and profession that I'm really proud to be a part of. So before I tell you about what I have planned for VNAM 2023 on this channel, let's have some background on the event first of all. Veterinary Nursing Awareness Month started in 2005 as National Vet Nurses Day, a campaign created by the wonderful people at the British Veterinary Nursing Association. This day since 2012 has become a month long celebration about the diversity of roles that veterinary nurses play both within clinics and outside of clinical practice. Involvement of VNAM has been growing for the last 11 years. Each year, the BVNA sets a theme for the month and this year's theme is empowerment. In previous years, I have posted an A to Z of the veterinary nurse, as well as 24 hours in the life of a vet nurse on my Instagram page. For me, there are two main reasons why VNAM is so important. The first is because pet ownership is becoming more and more popular. According to the poor report carried out by the PDSA in 2022, 52% of UK adults care for a pet. That includes 10.2 million dogs, 11.1 million cats and 1 million rabbits. That's a lot of animals. And all these animals will need veterinary care at some point in their life. We have also been seeing year on year increases in pet ownership, with particular booms during the pandemic years. The second reason why VNAM is so important is that whilst veterinary nursing is a growing profession, in 2016, there were 13,678 RVNs on the register, and in July 2021, there were 20,000 veterinary nurses on the register. This is still not enough vet nurses for the animals that need them. There have been multiple studies into the various reasons for this, as well as the implications it has on the veterinary profession. If you are a practice manager involved in recruitment and retention, or even just have a say in the way your practice is run, I would advise you to have a read of some of the studies currently on the screen. Understanding this may help you to make changes to your practice, which would improve the retention and job satisfaction of your veterinary nurses. Work-life balance, pay and feeling undervalued are three of the main reasons why vet nurses leave the profession. Now, I know I said there were two main reasons why VNAM is important to me, but there is one more really important point. As well as raising awareness of RVNs to future and prospective veterinary nurses, VNAM is incredibly important in raising awareness of the vet nurse to the public. Currently, the use of the word vet nurse as a job title is not protected. That means that anyone could call themselves a veterinary nurse regardless of whether they had carried out the theoretical and practical training that all registered veterinary nurses carry out. This is concerning because it could potentially put animals' lives at risk as well as tarnish the reputation of qualified vet nurses and veterinary nursing students. We have been campaigning for the veterinary nurse title to become protected, but for this to be successful in Parliament, we really need the public to support this cause. Over the next month, I plan to produce at least four videos in which I will explain the role of the veterinary nurse and how this differs to a vet. I'll also talk about the potential avenues into this profession, whether that be through a university degree or a college qualification, and I'll discuss the reasons why you may choose either of these. I'll discuss the types of experience that you might want to pick up before you decide to become a vet nurse, as well as what might help you gain a place in a training practice. I'm also hoping to produce some day or night in the life videos. I'll be doing this across my platforms, so please subscribe to my channel and keep your eyes peeled for new videos across the month where I'll be diving into everything you've ever wanted to know about veterinary nursing. And if there's anything you would like to see or find out, please pop a comment below.
Thank you for watching and happy VNAM! <laughs>